Welcome to Alpine Garage Sports, folks. My name is Chris. I am your host for this show, and we are in my garage. Today, we're talking about Colorado-specific NIL collectives, which also relates to other school collectives as well, because we somewhat model ours after other collectives. Now, they don't operate in the same way, but most schools have very similar collectives. The four or five different types of collectives that there are out there, we have those collectives at Colorado. Now this is part of a series that we're doing on NIL and we have the playlist located down in the description. So when you get done with this video, go down to the description and you can watch the entire playlist. We go through NIL A to Z and we even talk about like state laws and how they're wrapped around NIL so that you can be 100% on that as going forward. We're gonna be talking more and more about player opportunities for NIL and, and stuff like that. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, this is a great time to do it. So we're gonna be doing these series going forward. So a bunch of different series, and they're gonna be about college football in general, and a lot of them are gonna be specifically on the University of Colorado. So this is a great time to join. I mean, we're old school Colorado Bus fans, but we talk about everything that basically has to do with the stratosphere that the Colorado Buffs are in. So this is a great opportunity for you to join and be part of the best CU group in YouTube. So come on in, join us. Now we're talking about Colorado Collectives specifically. There are four Colorado Collectives, mainstream collectives that we have here in Colorado. So first we're gonna start off with the big one and the one that's endorsed by Rick George, the AD, and it's called the Buffs NIL Exchange. Now this is the big one. Now the Buffs NIL Exchange kind of touts itself as the central source for NIL for Colorado. And this is actually an influencer, which is a company that actually helps develop really high scale NIL exchanges and NIL collectives that operate on a platform that are not only uber compliant, but also very helpful to the marketplace. That's the businesses coming in and the players coming in. It has everything you would want, including how these student athletes can actually benefit your business. And then on the back side of it, give advice and counseling to the players on how they can best earn NIL money and also help them with their taxes. So this becomes kind of a one-stop shop for NIL opportunities. And the nice thing about the Buffs Exchange is that all student athletes can participate. So depending on the opportunities, if you are on any one of the sports that Colorado has available as students, you can actually be involved in this exchange. If you're a business or an individual that wants to take advantage of this marketplace, you could come in and you can go through and you can say, I want to donate to the general collective. I want to donate to a group. Let's say, you know, the men's football team or the women's basketball team. You can even say, I want to take care of the offensive line with something or I want to take care of a specific player. So you can be as specific as you want to with this and create an opportunity and then that opportunity will go to the student athletes and student athletes can either accept or not this opportunity. Now, once an opportunity is accepted, at that point the negotiations go outside of this organization and then actual negotiations are between the student athlete and the business. So they step out of it and let them do their thing. And then once it's accepted, it has to go through the school. The school has to approve these. And then at that point, they can go and do their thing. Now, the second one is a derivative of that called the Bus for Life NIL Collective. Now, take NIL Collective off of that and you have Buffs for Life. Buffs for Life has actually been around for a long time. It is a nonprofit organization that actually takes donations and it goes toward former student athletes that are having problems with, you know, mental health and suicide prevention and things like that. And it's a it's an awesome program that has helped a lot of people, a lot of families. And so what they did was they took that and they expanded it to an NIL collective. If you donate to the Bus for Life NIL collective, that is a tax deductible donation. Now on the other side of it too, the student athletes come in. The student athletes can earn NIL opportunities based around the core values of the Buff for Life initiative. Probably the best thing about this is that 15% of the donation that comes in goes straight to Bus for Life. The other 85% goes to the student athlete. So you benefit the student athlete, you benefit Bus for Life, everybody wins, and we further the community outreach to our former buffs. The third one is the Boulder NIL Club. And what this is, is this is one of those yoke platforms that we talked about, Y-O-K-E 
platforms that we talked about in the previous video. There are student athlete and fan interactions that go through this collective. So when you're donating to this collective, you're donating to get access to these players. Now it usually isn't physical access, it's usually digital access. You get access to specific videos that the players make for this collective. You get access through chat rooms and message boards as well. So if you want to interact with these players more directly than, for instance, commenting on their social media platforms, this is a great way to do it. And you can do it for as low as $5 a month. If you are a buff fan and you want to interact with the players, this is a great way to do it because you can get direct links with these players straight through this program. Now the last and a very interesting one is Reimagine Athletes. Now this was founded by Jeremy Doherty who is a local entrepreneur who started Maroon Bell Outdoors which is a fashion apparel brand here in Colorado. It is also a 501c3 tax deductible organization. So when you donate to this organization you can get a tax deduction out of it. And what it does is it creates grants for the student athletes. So they're actually given access to a lot of professionals that will teach them how to use that money, kind of grow wealth and create more financial literacy. So obviously that's one of the things that student athletes probably need the most is now that they're coming into this money, how are they managing it? This particular NIL collective looks to me like it is a kind of an all-in-one. It, it gives the NIL money to the student but it's wrapped in education, essentially, so that the student can then use that to grow wealth. And also, a portion of the grant that's paid to the student is going to go to the student's high school in the student's name. And it also will set the student maybe on a path to better philanthropy as well. So that donation in their name, and then now they get into the pros, let's say, and, and they take that even further. So they're, they're developing something out of this that none of the other collectives that I'm aware of offer this opportunity. And you can give as little as one, two, or five dollars a week to this program. Now the links to all of these NIL collectives will be in the description as well. So if you wanted to go to one of those and you wanted to donate or you wanted to support student athletes or you wanted to create an opportunity for student athlete, for the University of Colorado, this is your opportunity to go straight there, read about them a little bit more. So give me your feedback on what you feel like is the best collective in here based off the information that I gave you. And if you were a business or had a business and you wanted to donate to them, what would you ask for in return? Because you remember that these student athletes have to actually earn this NIL money. Would you just donate to the general collective or would you want advertising for your particular business? So put that down in there. Let me know your feelings. This is a really hot topic right now. And these collectives for Colorado are really new. So this is a great opportunity for these student athletes to take advantage of this. That is a wrap from Alpine Garage Sports. If you haven't already subscribed, now you know you need to do it. And we're going to be having more videos coming up soon. And we will see you in the next video. And if you haven't already heard, we coming.